Hey guys, so today I want to talk about something that's kind of uh, behind the scenes and special. Um, a lot of times I'm walking around the nursery, I'll walk around and I'll be like, oh, I made that. And sometimes people don't even believe me, like, oh, you can't really make a plant, so how'd that even work? You didn't make that. So actually, I do make stuff all the time, and I was just going to show exactly how that happens as fast as humanly possible. So we're going to start with butterworts, because why not? It's a good example. Um, here we have Pinguicula rotundiflora. And we're here, here we have um, Pinguicula lauriana red. I'm actually not going to show you how I crossed them because we don't have time for that today. But I crossed those two flowers, putting one pollen from this one onto the um, stigma of that one. And then I take those seeds, they ripen after about uh, six weeks or so, and I have to collect them before they all fall away and I lose them because they do drop away pretty fast, so I watch them all the time. Then I collect that seed pod. Then we send that seed pod usually to our tissue culturist, Mike and he'll sow them in vitro, which means in a jar like this. And these are actually that exact cross that we did last year. And these are the first ones to come out of the lab. So after Mike's made those little in vitro jars, we have to harden them off, which is a whole nother process. Those little baby little plants have been given everything they need in that jar. They've had all the water, it's super humid, we're giving them all just the perfect amount of light. They're like the fluffy little chicks on the island with no predators. And so if we just took them out into the greenhouse, usually they just probably melt and die. And certainly if we mail them to you, that would mostly be what would happen. So the hardening off process looks like this. Usually Kate does that. She'll carefully take them out of the jars, wash off all that jello, and then nestle them into their own mix. This is the mix that we sell online actually. We'll keep them covered with really super high humidity and low light and I'll monitor them constantly to make sure that they um, make that transition as um, you know easily as possible. And then we get to assess them and see what they look like. Um, they're gonna bloom in a year or two instead of six years the old fashioned way. I used to grow them in soil under lights and it would take me like six years to grow them to blooming size. So now we're doing it more like in a year or two, which means cooler plants, faster, more of them for you guys, which is so exciting. And I get to see them faster too. Um, here we have a couple crosses I did last year. This is Moctezuma by Macrophylla, and this is um, Moctezuma by Mornensis A. And you can see the giant flowers that Mornensis A crosses make. And that's one of the really fun things is um, doing these crosses and then seeing what they turn into and kind of developing recipes. Like if I want to make big flowers, then I cross it with Mornensis A. And this is my favorite thing to do actually, is making new crosses, trying to find the most interesting, most beautiful new creations. And this is how we make them in here. So you guys are ordering pings like crazy and this might surprise some of you but I'm actually the one that's going and getting them out of those trays and packing them all personally. You know we just switched to this bare root method which has been getting them to you like so much safer and so much better. I try to take off some of these brown leaves so you guys can get the best impression as humanly possible. And then I'm just going to wrap them up like this. And that little mattress there and I put them in a cup. And then I do one more paper towel right across the top, like a little donut to protect the crown. And of course, I don't have any lids. This is really real life. Where are the lids? There we go. And then I pop a lid on top. And then you'll get it with a sticker like this that I've written out. That's all my handwriting. <laughs> pop it in there and then Tiffany throws it in a box so you guys can have all the fun of growing your own butterworts and maybe even making your own plants someday.